Okay, I have a swarm that arrived uh, not too long ago. And this is uh, my effort to capture the swarm. Uh, what I have in terms of equipment is a swarm box. That's the white box that's right, right adjacent to the fence. And I'm not going to use that box to capture them. Um, I actually have a nuke and the nuke is this uh, box here and it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, five frames in it already. And this is a nuke that I had earlier that's not occupied. And the reason I got the box there up against the fence is just so I could put this on top of it and then I will just try to convince the bees to go into the nuke. So I'm gonna get everything in place and then um, I'll see if I can move the bees into um, the nuke box. So I'm just gonna position this so it's uh, flat up against the fence. And then this is the bottom board for the, the nuke. And I'm just gonna place this bottom board here on top of this box. And then I will place the nuke box here. And I think I have everything in place now. And there's a queen in there somewhere. Um, I've looked around and I don't see a queen. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is just try to get them to go down into the box. And actually, I'm going to take out a couple of these frames. And then I will just scoop the bees, put them down into the box. Actually, they're going in there. So I'm just going to wait. I'm going to put the frames back in. And it appears that they're going to go into the box. They're actually moving in. So that's going to be hopefully an easy process of capturing them. And I'm just going to place this top on slightly. So hopefully they'll feel uh, protected. But they're moving into the, um, the new hive. So hopefully they'll continue to march on in. And if the queen moves into the box for certain, they will move into it. But uh, right now they are uh, appear to be slowly moving into uh, the box. We're going to bring this closer just for give you a close up to date shot. Up close, I should say up close shot. You can see they're moving into the box. So that's amazing. So hopefully they'll continue to go into the box, but I'm just gonna uh, watch them for a bit to see if they all move in. And as I said, the idea is that the queen hopefully will move in. And if the queen goes in, for sure the rest will follow. And I'm just gonna look to see if I can see the queen it's really interesting how they are fanning and i'm assuming that they're communicating with the swarm to let them know that they found a potential a hive to move into so they all are slowly moving into it which is really interesting and i'm going to continue to look to see if i can find the queen
I don't know if you can hear their uh, buzzing, but they're making a lot of noise. They are continuing to march into the nuke hive. So that's really good. And I can see that some of these bees have uh, pollen on their body, so they've been out uh, foraging today already for the for the hive. And there are a bunch of bees on the back side of this fence. And again, I hope they continue to move into the box. If so, that would be a really easy capture. And I set up uh, some hives on this property last year for the first time. And we had probably about four to five swarms that came through and I was not able to capture any of them. I attempted to capture a couple of them, but um, I was not successful. And this is the first one that we've had uh, this spring for spring 2024. And I have uh, several box uh, beehives already made up and I'm hoping to expand my operation. Uh, currently I have two hives that are active and my goal is to actually split the hives, both of them. So um, basically I'm gonna take uh, some of the frames out of these hives uh, that I have in my garden already and basically just split them in half. And, uh, be, and what, what the bees will do is create a new queen. So I want to um, double the size of uh, the number of hives I actually have here. So hopefully uh, it's going to work out that I'll be able to capture these bees. Uh, I can get them into this nuke box, and then after they're here for a few days, I will uh, transfer them into a regular hive box. So I hope this continue to work. I do have some uh, additional boxes that I can add on to uh, this nuke box. So we'll see how it works here. And I'll just continue to run the camera for now.
I'm gonna look inside to see how many have moved into the box. Okay, a few of them are down in there. So hopefully they'll continue to move in. And hopefully, as I said earlier, the queen will move into the box. I'm gonna go around back to look at the back side of this fence. Really nice, beautiful swarm. I'll just continue to watch them. And if I can see the queen, um, I'll just capture the queen and place her inside the box in a queen trap and for sure if I could do that they will not leave uh, and they will all also they will all move into the hive as well Still do not see the queen. Chances are she's just buried underneath all of these bees.
they're continuing to inspect the box but they are not totally convinced to move in yet Okay, they're continuing to inspect the hive. Still do not see the queen. Wish I could find her. Okay, the battery died on the camera, so I put a new battery in. And 
just continuing to watch them. I'm going to see if I can scoop some of them up and hopefully convince them to go into the hive. Scoop some from the back. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I got the queen in there or not. But as you can see, they are quite active now. I'm just gonna scoop a little bit more out of here. They are quite active now. I'm gonna scoop a bunch of them off the back of the pulse here. you can see they are very active. I'm going to shut this off and I will come right back after a bit. Well, a bit of bad news. I had to take a trip to the store and when I return, I noticed that all the bees were gone. So unfortunately, uh, they did not remain in this hive. Um, and I've looked around the property briefly and I don't see them here anywhere. But I'm gonna continue to look. Uh, sometime they will just relocate relocate to an adjacent tree. But I don't see uh, any around here right now, but uh, we'll continue to look. So I'll come back with an update later. Stay tuned. Just a quick clip of uh, my two active hives. Uh, they're doing very well. And as I mentioned earlier, I will be splitting these up uh, here within the next day or so. But uh, still looking for the swarm bees. I do not see them around. Uh, we'll continue to look and see if I could find them. Uh, but um, as I mentioned earlier, we had uh, four or five swarms last year. So I do expect other, other bees to uh, visit the property um, this spring. So hopefully I'll be able to catch a few of the uh, swarms. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna conclude this video here unless I am able to find a swarm. Uh, if you enjoy this content and would like to learn about uh, beekeeping, I will be starting a series uh, sometime within the next week or so, and I'll be walking through my process, my experience of beekeeping over the years, and I'll be putting out several vid videos uh, throughout the course of the um, season this summer. So please subscribe and stay tuned if you'd like to learn more.